All right, this time around the question is who am I? And the person who sent in the question asked to remain anonymous, which when you think about it is just about the best thing that ever happened. Let me paraphrase Lessons in Truth a little bit. There's really three parts of who you are. There's the absolute truth about you, that unchanging, beautiful truth that we, that we make contact with sometimes. There's the truth about you and there's how conscious you are about it. And if you really know who you are, you act and you speak and you conduct yourself in a way that reflects that. But if you don't know very well who you are, you act and think and speak in a way that reflects that too. So there's the truth about you, there's how well you know the truth about you, and then finally there's the life that you experience as a result. How successful you are, how happy you are, how, how good your relationships are, how much money you end up having. All of that stuff at the bottom is 100% dependent on how well you know who you are really are. So instead of worrying about the physical stuff and the experiential stuff, the trick is to get smarter, spiritually speaking, to get closer to the truth about you. And to the degree that you do that, that other stuff will take care of itself. Now, of course, I can't tell you each and everything about who you are. That's really for you to figure out. And in the figuring out, you get better. But I can help point you to some things. First of all, you know how they say, the things that bother you about other people are the truth about you. There's something that you need to work on. If there's somebody who's really bugging you because they do X, Y, and Z, well, you got to remember that that X, Y, and Z is something that's resonating with you. So it's something that you need to work on. Well, you know that. You've heard that in a million places. But let's turn that around and also say that the things that you admire about other people, the heroes that you have, the people that you look up to, the people that you enjoy spending time with, your true friends and your true loved ones and the people that you really connect with, well, the reason that you connect with them is that that thing, that quality, that beautiful thing about them is speaking to something beautiful about you. So one way to figure out who you are and more importantly, where you are in this journey is to say, well, what really bothers me about other people, but what really inspires me about other people too? And as you begin to do that, you'll begin to figure out what's true about you, what you can get done with, and what you really want to have more of. Let me say this differently. Who you are is amazing, beautiful, perfect. Where you are right now, well, that may change. Maybe there's stuff you gotta work on. Maybe you got some growing to do. I know I do. But to the degree that you remember that my growth happens because the truth about me is good, things get easier. Some people feel like they gotta grow because they're no good inside. But to them, I say this. The fact that good feels good and bad feels bad. The fact that you have this call inside yourself to want to do better and be better and have happy things happen to you. The fact that good feels good is proof that you have something in common with it. So I reject the idea that you're no good inside. In fact, quite the opposite. The truth about you is beauty. So find things and relationships and situations that bring that out and you'll know who you are, and more importantly, the world who is hungry for that truth about you, that beauty about you, will get to see the truth about you. Who you are is perfect right now, so start acting like it, and life will get better. Thanks for these amazing questions. Thanks for this opportunity to talk with you. Thanks for watching me play with my new uh, GoPro camera. Hopefully the quality is good and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for subscribing to these videos. Please subscribe more. Please tell your friends about it. Please send in these questions. It means the whole world to me. Take care of yourself.